The back to school train is now rolling through Anaheim as students return to class this morning amid the downturn of the latest coronavirus surge. CBS 2's Cara Fenstrom is live inside Sunkist Elementary in Anaheim with some excited kids and parents. Hi there, Cara. <laughs> Hey, we just came back from recess. We're in Mrs. Reyes' class, and this is Jocelyn here. What did you get to do at recess today, Jocelyn? I got to play tag. Tag, always a good thing on the first day of school. Can you guys hold up your pictures and show everyone at home? These are pictures that they've driven, drawn of themselves on their first day of school, and you can see lots of smiling faces because everyone here having a really good time. The Sabercats are back at Sunkist Elementary. What grade are you going to be in? Kindergarten. And when you're one of the newest members of the pack, still working up that roar, it's nice to have a big sis who knows a thing or two. Then when I have new friends and play. There's just this optimism across the state that this year we're back to pre-pandemic conditions and we're going to move forward. Superintendent Christopher Downing says students were encouraged to take an at-home COVID test provided by the district last week. But for the first time since the pandemic began, the school year is starting with both testing and masks optional. Do what we can day by day, stay healthy. This dad of nine children is glad protocols are in place in case of a surge, but he says getting back to full school days will be good for his youngest, Joshua, and mom and dad. Old friends, new friends, make some friends, play all day. He's gone eight hours, he ain't. No. <laughs> the school district has doubled the number of counselors and increased staff to help students adjust socially and academically. Sunkist also sent its administrators door to door recently to make sure area families know that in person learning is back and get their children enrolled. All students at Sunkist get the chance to learn a musical instrument and this year to take part in expanded before and after school programs like traditional Mexican dance. I'm wearing a Focorico dress and, and it represents my country, Mexico. This school will also continue offering the language immersion programs that have made it popular with neighborhood families. English, Spanish at the same time, I think is a, the best, the best thing that we can do for our daughter. There and also. <laughs> and back here in the classroom, some more of these very happy faces being drawn. Again, this is their first day in school. Love the blue hair and the pink dress <laughs> on that one. Uh, Amy, by the way, families who still prefer to learn virtually, that is also still an option for them here at this school. All right, Carl, looks like a party on that first day. Thank you so much.